Okay, let's try and see if we can go to another guest. Let's go to Arti Agarwal on that question. Arti, if you can, if you can take that question. Well, thank you, Zakab. Um, I think that people taking the law into their own hands is never a good precedent for anybody. So be it, you know, this side or that side, people taking the law into their yes. hands is not a good thing. But at the same time, I mean, I'm not, I'm not approving of that. But the bigger question here is what is the law exactly doing? I mean, why are people taking the law into their own hands in the first place? So coming to uh, the bigger question of, you know, the UP government investigating madrasas and trying to get a survey of madrasas, there are several questions to be asked here, which at least I think are very big questions which should concern everybody. Firstly, if there is nothing wrong, there is nothing illegal, there is nothing immoral happening in the madrasas, nobody should have a problem with the survey of it. So, you know, OSC's question of vicious atmosphere, all that blah, blah, doesn't really hold. I mean, if there's everything is legitimate there, then why is the problem? It's a survey. It's a government build, uh, supported building, first of all. Secondly, we've seen that many underage kids uh, have been involved in rioting in Kanpur and in other places before. And, you know, we don't need to check the links if they are doing the, if there is some sort of a link between the madrasas where these kids are going and their involvement in these kind of uh, illegal activities, because recently there was, there were kids in the Kanpur riots who were involved and even their parents did not know that they were involved in those riots. So those kind of things, uh, especially when we're talking about underage kids, it's a very sensitive issue which it should concern everybody, not just Hindus or Muslims or whatever. The third thing is, okay. um, we've also seen uh, links to PFI uh, with some madrasas in the past and, uh, you know, links to some terror activities. And once again, you know, if there is no links to terror activities, everything is fine, nothing is a problem. But there is, I, I don't see a problem with investigation for links with uh, terror activities or, you know, organizations like PFI, which fund um, such activities like, like you okay. know, the kind of riots we've had. So that does let me, need to be investigated. Let me ask uh, Rahul Ishwar. I think his line has been connected uh, finally with, with us. Uh, Rahul Ishwar, you know, this is a question that's being asked by Muslim organizations like the jamaat e ulema -e hind who have called this a malicious attempt. That's the word they've used. A malicious attempt to disparage the education system. Mr. Asaduddin Uvesi says that this is a mini NRC. How are you going to respond to the concerns that there are in the Muslim community that this survey that the UP government is undertaking is simply an exercise at pushing Muslims down and Muslim, young Muslim kids who are studying in uh, madrasas down as second-class citizens. How are you going to respond to that? Saka, two quick points. One, one of the greatest education ministers we had, one of the greatest confidants and friends of Mahatma Gandhi was a Holy Quran scholar who was uh, learned in madrasa who also taught Maulana Abdul Kalam Asad. One of the greatest presidents we had is Dr. APG Abdul Kalam. His father was an imam in a mosque. So that answers the question. We have great number of figures who have studied in madrasa, who have come to the forefront and really helped India progress. Second point, but let me quote Sufi Mahapanjayat, who is a very respected Muslim organization. Sufi Mahapanjayat some years ago pointed out that huge Wahhabi funded money from Saudi Arabia and Middle East are being pumped into India. Please remember, this is not an allegation by Hindus or non, uh, no, any, any other uh, non-religious people or seculars or uh, atheists. This is by Sufi Mahapanjayat, who is a very respected Islamic organization of a spiritual uh, fervor. They have pointed out that huge amount of money are being funded because of the hardline Wahhabi Islam, which even Saudi Arabia and the other nations are trying to resist. So we need to keep vigil. According to government okay. statistics, UP had around 15,163 madrasas, which are recognized. There are, you know, 90 nine percentage of madrasas might be right will be imparting spiritual education but if there are any suspicions or apprehensions regarding one percentage of madrasas government should look into it may it be madrasa or any other religious institution it should be look into it because any religion should be taught according to the national law legal framework social harmony so many things are involved and one more point i don't think anybody in their right True. mind will say that people can take the law into their hand and demolish any building that forever because we understand and respect the yeah. Absolutely. Of our Muslim brothers. That's the reason why even you know the largest powerful Hindu organization, RSS Supremo, Sarsang Chalak, Mohan Bhagavad Ji went on record to say that let us not search for shiveling under every mosque. That is absolutely not necessary. So there need to be a moderation from both sides and our Muslim brothers okay. need to 
you understand there is an international angle and just one more line coming from kerala you might know nearly 100 people joined isis from kerala so there is an issue of radicalization we need to tackle i am the greatest watcher of hindu muslim unity at the same point of time hardline islamism or wahhabism or whichever name you want to call uh, the radical wahhabi islamist thought is an issue government needs to intervene security agencies need uh, to intervene i i want to 